Hello guys, this is Ali Solanki and today in this video, we'll be hosting our entire website using GitHub Pages and Vercel. We'll also learn how to host these websites on custom domain. So make sure to watch this video till the end because it will cover the entire hosting process. So let's start with hosting our website online. We'll be going with two different methods. First is GitHub Pages and then second is Vercel. So we'll be hosting this particular website and I'll be linking it down in the description box below so you can go check it out. Now uh, this entire website looks something like this. It's a very simple website and if you're starting with your own startup or some venture then you can use this website till your actual website is live so let's go ahead and host this website so just go over to settings and this is the github pages method so go over to pages this is going to be just one click publish so go over here github pages click on none to master and then just save it so this will actually be the repository or the particular folder which contains the index.html file. Whichever folder has that file, just make sure to publish that particular folder over here. Now, once you do that, go over to pages again and there would be your entire website live hosted. Now, in order to check if your website has been deployed correctly, just go over to code and over here, you will see this particular icon. It will turn to green. So just wait for a few minutes before it has been deployed successfully. Now I can finally see the green check mark and everything is done. Go over to settings once again, go over to pages and there it is. Your site is live at this particular site. Just go over to visit site and your entire site would be live. Now the next step is to go over to custom domain and set up our own custom domain. So over here, I'll just set up hisab.in, some domain that I'd purchased long back. So I'll just save it and I'll try to host it on that particular website now the next step is to host your website on a custom domain so over here if you go over to pages and just select a custom domain just save it over here you would notice that it goes in dns check in progress and it wouldn't work so in order to make sure that your website is hosted on your custom domain right now if i go over to hisab.in it won't show my entire website so over here you can see a blank white screen and my website is not hosted so i need to go over to the notion document that i've shared down in the description down below and this entire text would be available to you as well. What you need to do is go and add all of these records to your DNS settings. Over here, if you go over to your GoDaddy account and log in to your account, uh, go over to domain and there would be manage DNS. And over there in the DNS settings, you can add your own DNS settings as you want. After that, you would find all of your DNS records as well. And it would look something like this. You need to change these records according to this text and I'll do it right away. Now, once you've added all of these DNS records, you then have to wait for a few while before your website is live. And you can check the pages section in order to check if your website is live and if your domain is pointing to GitHub or not. For me, it took me around five minutes and the website went live. But over here, you can see that it is not secure. This is a tag that is coming up over here. And it is because hisab.in is currently hosted on HTTP and not HTTPS. Now for me, it took me around five minutes for the website to go live and it is completely live right now. If you go over to hisab.in, uh, it is protected with SSL as well and the entire website is live for everyone to use. Now the next step is to host this entire website using Vercel. So just go over to vercel.com and log in with your own account and just create or add new project. So let me add a new project and over here it can see all of my github repositories because I've added github. This is the repository that I want to import. So I'll just import it. And if you're using a particular framework, for example, Next.js or Vue.js or something like that, you can even select that. For now, we are just going to keep it others because I'm using HTML, CSS and pure vanilla JavaScript. And there we go. Congratulations, you just deployed a new project to Vercel. 
we need to add a custom domain and i'll show you that part as well but let us see this particular website live so over here you can see imbozi coming soon dot versal dot app and the website is live hosted now let's host our versal website on a custom domain and connect our custom domain which is sub dot in i've removed the uh, website for now and host our website using versal so go over to versal and just continue to dashboard and then go over to settings and over there click on domains and over here add your own website so hisab.in is the domain that i want my website to be hosted at add the domain and it will tell you to add a records now you need to add these records in your dns just like we added it before so let's add these records both of these records to our dns record so let's just go over to dns management let me copy this dns management add new record a and this will be add and then paste the record and save it there is one more record that i need to add which is c name record so let me just copy this and go down this is already added so let me edit it and put in versal dns now once you update both of these records you would have to wait for some time in order to make sure that these records are added and they have been added right away so just go over to hisab.in and refresh the page now let's just go over to hisab.in and here i've opened up the uh, domain let me refresh the page and there we go the entire website is now hosted live for us and you can go check it out this is how you host your own website on a custom domain with versal and github pages if you want to learn more about github then you can go and search for ali salangi github i've made an entire video on this topic so you can go check it out